Hi, my name is Esme Newman and I currently live in Samal, south of the Philippines, where my husband and I teach Bible courses to village pastors. I met many of you sometime in 2019 when I visited Agnes um, in Utah. She asked me to cook lots of food because she was going to invite the people who've been uh, involved in helping her and her family since she was diagnosed. I told Nessie, as uh, she was known to uh, family and friends, um, but I was so amazed at how wonderful her church family and her friends has been to, to her and her family, taking care of their needs, taking her to the hospital, driving her school, her, her kids to school, watching them when um, Sandy has to go to work and she has to do her therapy. But then again, Nessie is one fantastic woman and how can we not like and love her? Agnes was a vibrant, beautiful, big-tailed high schooler when I first met her soon after I arrived in the Kingdom of Tonga in 1990. I started a discipleship group with her and her friends from high school and she immediately stood out. She was an eager learner and quick to apply what she learned in her life and ministry. She was very faithful in attending our discipleship meetings and oftentimes it would just be me and her. She was always at our house when she was not in school, tagging along classmates and friends. You know, Agnes didn't know how lonesome I was when I first arrived in Tonga. It was my first time to live in a foreign country and it took a while for me to learn the language. Agnes kind of adopted me into her family and despite the age gap, she became a dear sister and friend. She invited me for sleepovers for me to get to know her parents, her brother, and her sister. Agnes is the epitome of what the Bible calls a brother, or rather a sister, that sticks closer than a brother. We got separated when her family migrated to the U.S. However, we got reunited a couple of years later after my family moved uh, to the U.S. as well. We actually stayed in her family's rented apartment, apartment in West Valley for almost a year while we were trying to get our footings in our new home. Agnes was the first one to buy me my first winter clothes and shoes. She's an immigrant who had a real heart for helping other immigrants do well in this country. She took me out to the theater, drove me around sightseeing, and we shared many late nights just hanging out and talking in coffee shops or even at Denny's. A couple of years later, uh, she flew to Washington to attend my wedding. She even performed a hula at the reception. Well, when I graduated from the University of Washington, Agnes flew in with an entire dance crew, including her brother, because she wanted to give, give me an authentic luau to celebrate my accomplishment. And, and they did, complete with Tongan food, Tongan dances, and Tahitian dance, and, and even a Maori uh, haka. And in the same way, she asked me to be the maid of honor at her wedding. Agnes um, visited me at least once a year. She often visited me with <laughs> tagging along family or friends. We took road trips, we shopped, went food tripping, watched comedy shows. Her friends became my friends, like Seau, Heather, Lam, and my friends in Washington became her friends. Agnes has been uh, my partner in crime in planning all kinds of uh, wacky parties for my husband who hates parties, especially when it involves him. Agnes helped me uh, to turn my house into a restaurant as a birthday surprise for my husband. She played waitress while uh, Siri, her brother, played the restaurant host. Another time, I decided to celebrate our anniversary by reenacting our wedding. Nessie, of course, flew in with her cousins to prepare the feast. We shared uh, many, many more fun, colorful, and meaningful uh, memories together. Like you, I pleaded with God to heal her and extend her life for her and her family's sake, myself included. We still had lots of plans that we had yet to realize. 
She was supposed to visit me here in Samal. I promised to spend a lot of time with her at the beach, go shopping, maybe fly to Bangkok and do more sightseeing. But God has a different plan. When God denies me what I ask, He always reminds me of what Paul wrote in Romans 9.20. You are only human, and human beings have no right to question God. God is wise, and He knows what He's doing, and He doesn't owe anyone any explanation. He wants me to keep trusting Him no matter what. Agnes, you're an amazing woman. You were the ultimate hostess, friend, advocate to people who come to America to help them realize their dreams of a better life. You are an amazing wife and mother to your children. Your children's fate is a testament to the depth of your own faith in the God who you serve. You will be sorely missed by so many as I certainly will. I really thank God that He gave me the privilege of knowing you and traveling through life with you in it. We never say goodbye after each time we met. We simply say, until next time. It's comforting to know that we have a next time awaiting us. We have eternity to look forward to. We're in His presence. We could enjoy more, more adventures together. Until then, I love you, my sister and my friend. Until next time.